You tweeted out today that you saw Schefter sending out an email that said Tom Brady on it, right? That was a subject line. Okay. Now, Brady I've, is here in Florida. Apparently, he was golfing yesterday. Well, he might play for the Dolphins next year. I, mean, uh, I don't know about that. But yeah. I, think, I think he's going to be here as part of the NFL 100 all-time team celebration that's part of the Super Bowl and all sorts of stuff. So, Are you at that? Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm going to be at the Super Bowl. Yeah, but I don't think I'm part of the NFL 100 all-time teams thing. Me neither. They will. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Shane Leckler. How did up. you not? He did, by the way. Leckler and Ray Guy made it. You yeah, know? I'm, so. I'm indifferent on Ray Guy. I know you are. What? Because he slided you one day, right? Yeah, on his award. Yeah. He yeah. kind of gave you the Heisman. He gave you the no, Ray Guy. He, gave he, you the Heisman he flew award? me down for the Ray Guy Award. Right. You know, in college. Right. And out of the. The nation's punters, we weren't the right three finalists. Right. We weren't the right three. But out of the three finalists, I was clearly Understood. the winner. Yeah. Had to rent a Understood. suit for this thing. My mom and dad had to call off work. We go down to Orlando, sit through all this crap, <laughs> and he gives the award to somebody he was friends with. And I'm like, hey, you know what? Ray Guy's dead to me. So <laughs> Ray Guy out, Shane Leckler in. I love Shane Leckler. I talked to him. By the way, you said me saying I'm not saying I'm right was your fa favorite thing you've heard me say. Ray Guy's dead to me may be the favorite thing I've ever heard Good. you say. I mean, that's Shane Leckler's the goat. But in terms of Brady, man, um, he put up a photograph on his social media feeds that's kind of the Laurel Yanny of photographs, <laughs> where you're trying to figure. We we all look at it or and see something and, different. By the way, that was and blue so, and black that dress. Okay, exactly. It's yes, that type yes. of version of a post of him. We assume that's uh, Gillette. Is he, in your mind, walking into Gillette, which we would all assume meaning he's going to stay a Patriot? Or do you think this is a photograph of him leaving Gillette and we all read into the fact that he's leaving the Patriots? Pat McAfee, your thoughts. Can I please say that I love everything Tom Brady has done? Okay. His post-game press conferences, his social media, the season press conference, wrap-up press conference, everything he done, he's done has been cerebral and deliberate, yes. okay? Setting him up for this opportunity that he hasn't had for 20 years. His social media team is second to none. And I have a good social media team. His social media team is very intelligent, very bright, and they've made Tom Brady look like a relatable human, and he's an alien. Tom Brady is an alien. <laughs> so I think his social media team is absolutely incredible. This... If you live on the internet for any time, you know that you're a detective, you're an investigator, you have to look up other photos. Tom Brady wears his watch on his left hand. Okay. It is very clear that he's wearing a very massive, expensive watch on his left hand. He is walking into that stadium oh. there. But, but, who says that isn't from a commercial saying, sometimes you gotta take one last trip home before you hit the uh, road? Who says, right? Who McAfee. says? that this isn't just gonna be more of these calibrated, cerebral, string people along type posts from Tom Brady. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect the Super Bowl commercial to be any different because the guy has played this thing perfectly. And that's why he's the GOAT on the field and now he's the GOAT in free agency. Or he's wearing his, you, you're, you're, you don't see the watch on the proper hand here. And that looks like to me like he's walking out of that stadium. I mean, his, le his foot that's on, his left foot, at, if, if he's walking out of the stadium, or his right if he's walking in. That foot looks like it has been picked up. Like he is walking out, man. Two, he three is weeks ago on the out internet. of the stadium to me. That does not look like that foot is being lifted up to walk in. That would be a very mm -hmm. odd sort of well, foot he's position. It's Tom Brady, he does things differently. He's an alien, right? But two, three weeks ago on the internet, I don't know, Brock might have seen this, TJ probably saw it. There was a guy on a swing. Did okay. you see this? And you didn't know if you were swinging towards the building or swinging away from the building. Yeah. And everybody, like, it took over. It captivated the Internet. Yeah. Just like this has. Yes. I believe the detectives of the Internet that say they think he's walking in here with the watch opportunity. But I think this is going to play into a bigger play that's still going to string people along and have no idea. And ultimately, leave New England Patriots fans completely befuddled about the entire situation. Well, Chris, what do you think? Uh, I just tweeted out with this picture yesterday, WTF is this. Because, like, it, it was just screwing with everybody's mind. Like I love Tom it. Curran said the same thing. He's just effing with us right now. He's just having fun with all of this. Is it not perfect, though? It's per It's just like Tom has been playing the last couple of seasons. Well, then he goes to that fight, talks to the guy with the terrible haircut. All of a sudden, bang, he's going to Las Vegas Raiders. Right. Then now he's down here in Miami for the top 100 team. All he's got to do is, what, dap up Brian Flores one time? Ooh, he's the quarterback of the Dolphins. He has played this thing perfectly. He could end up at, like, seven different teams, and everybody would be like, yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. There was and a the rumor yesterday he was in Tennessee looking at houses. And schools. 
Yeah, yeah this is yeah. awesome. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, that starts Monday, by the way. Congrats to whoever wins the Super Bowl. You get about four hours of celebration <laughs> because Monday morning is where is Tom Brady going? Well, for more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.